According to a new satellite image analysis, Russia has deployed trained military dolphins at its Black Sea naval base, possibly to protect its fleet from an underwater attack. The images, released by Maxar Technologies, show the Russian Navy's dolphins swimming at the entrance to the Crimean port of Sevastopol, alert to the presence of an enemy. They would counter Ukrainian Navy divers who might try to sabotage Russian warships at the port during the ongoing conflict. The U.S. Naval Institute examined satellite imagery of the Sevastopol naval base and concluded that two dolphin pens were relocated to the base in February at the start of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Sevastopol is the Russian Navy's most important Black Sea naval base. The dolphins could be tasked with counter-diver operations. Both the US and Russia have long weaponized and trained marine animals such as dolphins and beluga whales for espionage and other combat operations against enemy naval forces as well as defending maritime sovereignty. This could prevent Ukrainian special operations forces from infiltrating the harbor underwater to sabotage warships. During the Cold War, Russia was the first to use militarized dolphins and whales. On April 23, 2019, a trained beluga whale turned up in northern Norway. Locals have nicknamed this whale, Valdemir, and it is thought that it escaped from a Russian Navy program. The whale was spotted off the coast of Norway, wearing an unusual Russian harness with a camera attached. Satellite imagery of Russia's top secret GUGI naval intelligence base has also revealed the presence of Russian whale pens. According to satellite photos, many high-value Russian Navy ships are arranged inside the port out of range of Ukrainian missiles but vulnerable to undersea sabotage. Several marine mammal programs were developed by the Soviet Navy during the Cold War, including dolphin training in the Black Sea. The unit was stationed in Kazakhya near Sevastopol, where it is still stationed today. When the Soviet Union fell apart in 1991, the unit was handed over to the Ukrainian military. The Ukrainian Navy resurrected the Sevastopol program in 2012. Although there were attempts to keep it operational, it barely stayed open. With Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, the unit was handed over to the Russian Navy. The marine mammal programs have since been expanded and brought back into service. Since then, Moscow has announced plans to expand the scheme. Russian marine mammals are being used in more places than just the Arctic. According to satellite photos, the Black Sea Fleet's dolphins were deployed to Russia's Mediterranean Sea naval base in Tartus, Syria, for several months in 2018. The mobile pens that were used for that deployment were very similar to the ones that are currently parked in Sevastopol Harbor. Ukraine has not announced any combat swimmer operations against Sevastopol. However, naval analysts believe that dolphins are an effective defense against divers. Russia also extensively trains whales for surveillance in Scandinavian waters, particularly in Norway and Sweden, both of which have reported several incidents of Russian military whales and dolphins conducting mock attack runs and surveillance missions. Russian military trains beluga whales and dolphins for their echolocation and sonar capabilities, which allow them to locate and navigate oceans using reflected sound to hunt and identify enemy warships. Beluga whales can dive to depths of up to 700 meters, far greater than military submarines. Due to their high levels of intelligence, they can also conduct counter-diver operations, detect underwater objects, and infiltrate espionage targets.